This week, NFTST spoke to award-winning artist Victor Solomon about basketball, the metaverse, Web3 and his unique NFT collection. On December 2nd, NFTST's hosts Alyssa Exposito and Ray Salmon chatted with Victor Solomon to discuss his journey into bridging his in-real-life artwork into NFTs and how he cultivates the community and culture that surrounds it. Solomon's work centers around basketball, not just the object, but the sport itself. For Solomon, the inspiration for his work comes from his early childhood of wanting to play hockey, a sport that was not accessible for him, and his eventual discovery of basketball which he discovered to be more accommodating. Solomon said, basketball was such an inspirational platform for me since there's no barrier to entry. Solomon says that the open nature of basketball is an incredible parallel for everything that's happening in Web3, and throughout the episode he explains the symbiotic relationship he has experienced in building out Vesselverse, the basketball of the metaverse. When asked about the liberating elements of creating and iterating in Web3, Solomon drew attention to the invigorating nature of being able to create things that cannot exist in real life, like a planet inside a hollow basketball, but also the process of taking the physical elements into digital renderings and composites. For Solomon, building a collection and a community to rally around it was second nature. His extensive experience in the traditional art world gave him the same insight and structure on how he releases digital collectibles. Drawing inspiration from other NFT projects like Nouns, Solomon's digital collection, Vesselverse operates similarly to his real-life pieces, except one vessel, or basketball, is auctioned off every hour. Contrary to physical installations or show pieces in a gallery, Solomon noted that creating within Web3 offers participants and collectors a broader and larger say in the direction of the work rather than a one-off experience. When it comes to Web3 and the metaverse, a core tenet in a successful project or ecosystem is the community surrounding it and building alongside it. Solomon described how exciting it is to be able to work shoulder to shoulder alongside a growing community, where diverse collectors enable an open forum to constantly visit, discuss and consider the direction of the project. Rather than shying away from opening up considerations to the community, Solomon embraces the more decentralized aspects of building and unlocking community in Web3. Solomon said, what attracts me as a founder is unlocking that opportunity for everyone to be able to have a voice. For Solomon, the juxtaposition of Web 2 and Web 3 has highlighted what he considers a massive unlock. As he describes, the collaborative nature and community spirit has not been something he has been able to experience in his physical work and is energizing. The biggest challenge Solomon currently faces is re-educating a segment of the ecosystem that may have had bad experiences in the crypto and NFT market. Nonetheless, Solomon suggests that the adversity is worth enduring since the promise of Web3 is much bigger than any particular negative experience. To hear more from the conversation, tune in and listen to the full episode of NFT Stees and make sure to mark your calendar for the next episode on December 16th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. The views, thoughts and opinions expressed here are the authors alone and do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions of Cointelegraph.